Mupay nga adlaw sa iyo nga tanan. Welcome to my channel. So our topic for today for simplified integral calculus under unit 2 technique of integration so transformation by trigonometric formulas part 3 so in our last video we discuss about integrating function in terms of sine and cosine so for today's topic we're going to discuss integrating function in a form of integral tangent 3 to mx second 3 to nx dx or integral of cotangent 3 to mx cosecant nx dx so there are three conditions before you can proceed with your integration with a certain trigonometric function so you need to evaluate and examine the power or the exponent of the function so for example if f if m is an ed integer greater than 1 or n is any positive integer you can factor out tangent x or cotangent x and you can use the following identities so you need to examine first the power or the exponent of your trigonometric function and you can use the trigonometric identities condition a or for your condition b if the power m and n is an integer or n is a positive even integer greater than 2 you need to factor out the second squared x and cosecant squared x and express the remaining factor in terms of tangent or cotangent x using the same identities the identities in condition A and identities in condition B is only the transpose version of condition A with respect to condition B. If you're going to transpose negative 1 to the other side to tangent squared x, it's the same in your condition B. Okay, So you only need to memorize these two identities for your tangent and second or cotangent cosecant trigonometric function form okay so for your condition C if M is an even integer or N is a positive odd integer greater than 2 you need to express all of the function in terms of second or cosecant and after that you can use your IBP number 18 or your integration by parts formula number 18 and also don't forget prior to your implementation of your IBP or integration by parts you need to determine the correction factor or applying your property number 3 determining the correction factor okay so I hope this condition will help us will help you in evaluating trigonometric function in a form of tangent and second or cotangent and cosecant form now let's proceed to our next slide so we can evaluate sample problem okay example number 15 can be found in your book on page 87 okay so Evaluate the integral of y tangent cube for theta d theta. So our first step is to examine the exponent or the power of our function. So in our in this case, this is our function, trigonometric function. We have a power of tangent cube. So now we need to manipulate and rewrite this trigonometric function. For example, we have tangent cube for theta. We can rewrite this tangent cube for theta to tangent for theta times tangent squared for theta. We'll know that if we're going to 
multiply the power of tangent 4 theta and tangent squared 4 theta, the answer is 3. So we add the exponent and we copy the base, the common base, which is tangent 4 theta. So we have 1 here. So we just add the power. Okay. So by that, we can we can rewrite our equation now or our function. So the integral of y tangent square cube for theta d theta is also equal to integral we need to copy the the new form of our tangent cube so y tangent 4 theta tangent squared 4 theta of course we we'll, we don't forget the d theta okay so what is our next step use identities now we can use identities which part in our second term tangent squared we all know that tangent squared 4 theta using our identities can be rewritten as second squared 4 theta minus 1. Okay, so using these identities, we can rewrite this function. And observe also that we have a constant y. So we can apply our property number 2. We can carry out y outside the integrand. So we can write y integral of tangent 4 theta and our identities for tangent squared 4 theta so tangent squared 4 theta d theta or replace it with your identity integral of tangent 4 theta quantity second squared 4 theta minus 1 d theta. So our next step here is to expand our binomial. So we expand. We let tangent 4 theta join our quantity inside the bracket. So, y integral of quantity tangent 4 theta second squared 4 theta minus tangent 4 theta d theta. Now, we can apply our property number 1. So, we divide these terms and also including our y. Okay. So that is y integral of tangent 4 theta second squared 4 theta d theta minus y integral of tangent 4 theta d theta. So we have two separate function that we need to solve separately okay so we'll start with we'll start with our term number one okay so what are we going to do with term number one of course in term number one before we can proceed to our power formula we need to determine the correction factor first so for for term number one we let r u equal to tangent 4 theta and of course for the first derivative of your tangent 4 theta that is equal to 
4 second squared 4 theta and finally your d theta is equal to the reciprocal of your first derivative of your u du is equal now to 1 over 4 second squared 4 theta okay so we can rewrite our function we have y integral so our tangent for theta we replace it with our u then copy the remaining second squared 4 theta and our d theta we replace it with our correction factor 1 over 4 second squared 4 theta so now we can cancel some common terms here second squared 4 theta second squared 4 theta so we have a remaining of 1 fourth real number so we apply our property number 2 so we carry out outside the integrand our 1 fourth so rewriting so 1 fourth times y that would be y over 4 integral of u du so now our function is ready for our power formula if we apply our power formula that would be y over 4 quantity u 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 plus c that is equal to y over 4 times 1 half u squared plus c then we recall our value of r u which is tangent for theta or we rewrite so y over 4 times 1 half that would be y over 8 u recall tangent 4 tangent copy the power 2 and our 4 theta plus c so that is your answer for your first term only so proceeding with our second term so for our second term so we let ru equal to what We let r u equal to 4 theta only. Okay? So if you're going to get the first derivative of your u, that would be 4. So that your d theta is equal to 1 over the first derivative of your u, du, and now that is equal to 1 for du. So we apply this correction factor to our second term. So y integral of tangent so for theta our u our d theta is one fourth du so we apply property number two we carry out real number constant which is one fourth so one fourth times your y that is y over four integral of tangent u du so our equation now is ready for integration so if we're going to use our trigonometric function formula number 12, which is tangent u du is equal to ln sec u plus c. <coughs> okay. So we use this trigonometric function formula. y over 4 ln of second u plus c so we recall the value of r u which is equal to 4 theta so your answer is y over 4 ln second 4 theta plus c what we need to combine our answer for first term and second term okay so if we're going to rewrite our final answer that would be y 
over 8 tangent squared 4 theta minus minus that's an answer for our second term y over 4 ln second 4 theta plus both constant we combine all arbitrary constant what do we see so this is your final answer for your example number 15 y over 8 tangent squared 4 theta minus y over 4 ln of second 4 theta plus c i hope everyone is i hope everyone can comprehend with our solution so just follow our, our the procedure and instruction so you can follow the solution okay or you can replay the this video for a comment you can comment down below send your comment to our gc and or you can send a personal message to your model account for student that are not yet subscribed please subscribe to our channel to be updated with our weekly video tutorial for integral calculus okay so thank you so moving on to our next example so our next example example number 16 can be found in your workbook on page 88 okay so example number 16 we are asked to evaluate the tangent cube y second 3 to 4 y dy okay so what is our first step again always we examine our function the exponents in the pa exponent or the power of each functions our trigonometric functions so so we rewrite tangent cube same with our previous example we rewrite tangent cube y can be written as, as also as tangent squared y tangent y so if we're going to rewrite this function tan integral of tangent cube y second 3 to 4 y dy if we're going to rewrite that so integral of tangent squared y tangent y second 3 to 4 y dy okay so we use our another trigonometric identities so we all know that tangent squared y can, has the trigonometric identities of second squared y minus 1 okay so we replace our tangent squared y with our identity second squared y minus 1 okay so we rewrite the function integral of our tangent squared y we replace it with our identities so that is quantity second squared y minus 1 and copy the remaining function so tangent y second 3 to 4 y dy so what is our next step we expand this function by distributing its neighboring function these two product this product of tangent and second okay so doing so the integral of course tangent y so for second squared and second four that is second we copy the base and we add the power that is second six y so for second term minus tangent y second to the fourth y okay so these are new function d y so what is our next step again we need to apply our property number 
1. We distribute the integrand and y to inside the function. Okay. <coughs> so, this is integral of tangent to y second raised to 6 y dy and our second function is integral of tangent y second raised to 4 y dy. So, we have a two function that we need to evaluate. Okay, so, <clears throat> but if you observe this two function, tangent y, tangent y, they have common tangent y, and also they have a common second trace to 6 y, second trace to 4, they only differ with the power. <clears throat> so if we're going to apply our property number 3, If we're going to apply our proper number to determine the correction factor, if we let if we let our u equal to second, if we let our u equal to second y, let our u equal to second y. Therefore, the first derivative of your second y is tangent y second y so therefore your dy is equal to the reciprocal of your first derivative of your u du so we can rewrite our dy as 1 over tangent y second y du okay so we are going to use this correction factor to both terms since second y is common to each function this term one function one and this function two second y is common okay if we're going to apply our correction factor to both terms so we rewrite okay so integral so tangent y so we replace our second okay with our u so u but we still we copy its power and apply our correction factor 1 over tangent y second y d y i sorry it's du since it's your correction factor okay so for our second term minus the integral of tangent y we replace our second y with our u but we copy the power so and replace dy with our correction factor 1 over tangent y second y du okay now we cancel some common term so we cancel tangent y tangent y tangent y and tangent y okay so the remaining functions in integral of u 6 so it's still 1 and 1 over second okay also before we rewrite our function, observe <coughs> that we have also a common term, which is second y. If you're going to recall the value of your u, that is second y, but it is into power of 6. So, we cancel second y unless our power 6 to 5. And this one also, cancel second y, we cancel, we less our power with 1, so that would be 3. So rewriting again, your function, that is integral of u raised to 5 du minus integral of u, so cube du. Okay, so you can apply your power formula here. 
So if you apply our power formula, that is u 5 plus 1 all over 5 plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus your arbitrary constant of each term. So rewrite that is 1 over 6 u6 minus 1 over 4 u4 plus c. So we need to recall the value of r u which is second y. So we rewrite our final answer now. So 1 over 6. So what is the value of our u? Second y. Second. So our power is 6 y minus 1 fourth u second the power of your u is 4 y plus the arbitrary constant so this is your final answer for example number 16 okay i hope it's clear if you have question don't hesitate to ask message send your message okay so let's move to our next example So, example number 17, we are asked to evaluate the cotangent of raised to 5y cosecant cube y dy. Okay, the same procedure. We need to examine each power of each product of the function, trigonometric function. So, we start with our cotangent. So if we're going to rewrite our cotangent, cotangent raised to 5y, if we're going to rewrite this, we can say that cotangent squared y squared and cotangent y is also equal to cotangent raised to 5. So we squared cotangent squared y, that is 4, plus we have cotangent y, that is 5. Okay, so we rewrite our function now. So integral of cotangent 5y cosecant cube y dy. So we replace our cotangent raised to 5y with our manipulated power form. Okay, so cotangent, so that's integral of quantity cotangent squared y squared cotangent y. So this is equivalent to your cotangent 5, cotangent raised to 5y. And of course, still copy the remaining function, cosecant cube y dy. Okay, so what is our next step? We have, we need to get the identities, the trigonometric identities of cotangent squared y. So if you can recall, your cotangent squared y, cotangent squared y is equal so to cosecant squared y minus 1. So if we're going to rewrite again our function, that is cosecant squared y minus 1 squared. So copy the remaining cotangent y cosecant cube y dy. Okay, so next step, expand this function. So we let this function get inside our quantity. But before you do the expansion, you need to factor out cosecant squared y minus 1. So, cosecant squared y is equal to 1 squared can be written also to so this is your 1 this is your a squared cosecant squared 2 times 2 that is 4 y so plus minus since it's a minus 2 then your a cosecant squared y and your b is negative 1.
plus squared of your negative 1. Okay, so finally, if we're going to rewrite, that is cosecant 3 to 4 y minus 2 cosecant squared y plus 1. Okay, so we replace our cosecant squared y minus 1 with this. Okay, integral of quantity cosecant 3 to 4 y minus 2 cosecant squared y plus 1. So we remove the power square by expanding. Okay. <clears throat> so copy the remaining cotangent y cosecant cube y dy. So now we can apply our property number 2 or 1. Okay. So we expand again. So cotangent y cosecant, so 3 plus 4, that is 7, y minus 2, cotangent y, here, cosecant squared, plus 3, that is cosecant 5, y, okay. So that is still dy. So we apply our property number 1 again. 2 separates each term. Two cosa oh we still have 1, the value of 1. We still have value of 1 here. So we have plus 1. So plus cotangent y cosecant cube y dy. Okay, so we expand or we separate each term. Integral of cotangent y cosecant 7y dy minus we apply property number 2, we carry out property real number constant 2 outside the integrand. That is integral of cotangent y cosecant to the 5y dy plus integral of cotangent y cosecant cube y dy. Okay, now we can apply or observe. We have common cotangent y. So we have common also cosecant, but they differ only with their power. So we apply our property number 3, our correction factor. So we let our u equal to cosecant. Cosecant y. If we get the first derivative of our cosecant y, that is equivalent to your negative cotangent cosecant y therefore your correction factor dy is equal to 1 over negative cotangent y cosecant y okay we apply our correction factor to our functions so integral so cotangent y so cosecant we replace it with our u but we copy the power so our correction factor 1 over negative cotangent y cosecant y du. Same with the second term. 2 integral of cotangent y cosecant. We replace our cosecant with our u. But we copy the remaining power u. 5 and replace our dy with our correction factor 1 over negative cosine y cosecant y du in our last term plus 
cotangent y, we replace our cosecant with our u power cube correction factor 1 cotangent y cosecant y du okay so we cancel common term <coughs> cotangent cotangent y cotangent y cotangent y cotangent y cotangent y cotangent y recall that your cosecant y our u is also equal to cosecant y. So if we cancel cosecant y, we less. We less our power 1. Okay. We less this power. This is 6. If we less u5, that is 4. But we cancel cosecant y. So our cube be 2. We cancel our cosecant y. Okay. So we rewrite our function again ready for your power formula integral of u raised to 6 du minus 2 integral oops you have a negative here okay so you have a negative from your correction factor so this is negative so here negative times negative that is positive u raised to 4 du so negative times positive still negative that is u squared du now you can apply your power formula here if you apply your power formula to the negative 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 plus 2 quantity 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 plus your all arbitrary constant okay if you're going to rewrite that that is negative 1 over 7 u raised to 7 plus 1 over 5 that is 2 fifth u fifth and minus one third u third of course plus your c and recall your u which is equal to cosecant y so finally you can rewrite your final answer negative one over seven your u is cosecant power of 7y plus 2 fifth your u is cosecant power 5y minus 1 third your u cosecant power cube y and combining all the arbitrary constant plus c so negative 1 third cosecant raised to 7y plus 2 over 5 cosecant raised to 5y minus 1 third cosecant cube y plus your arbitrary constant. So that is your example number 17. So let's move into next example. Example number 18. So example number 18, you are asked to evaluate the integral of tangent cube y second raised to 4. Okay, same procedure. Observe the power and rewrite the power in order for you to use some identities. So we'll start with second. So second, 4y can be rewritten as second squared y, second squared y. So if you add this power, that would be 4. So, okay, we rewrite, the, we rewrite our function. Integral of tangent cube y second raised to 4y dy. So, now we replace our second 4y <coughs> with our manipulated second power. So, integral of tangent cube y 
second squared y second squared y dy okay so now with with our second squared y we can use its identity is equal to your tangent squared y plus 1 so we use that identities okay so we replace second squared y with our tangent squared y plus 1 okay so we copy integral of tangent cube y second squared y and the other second squared we replace it with our identity so we have tangent squared y plus 1 of course our dy now we expand this function and we separate the two result function the two resulting function okay so we distribute the the product of tangent and second inside the quantity which is our identity okay if we do so that would be tangent cube and tangent square integral of tangent cube and tangent square that is tangent 5y second squared y plus tangent so with tangent cube we multiply it with one so tangent cube paren y second squared y dy so we apply our property number one we distribute dy and integral inside the function so integral of tangent 3 to 5 y second squared y dy plus integral of tangent squared y second this is cube so this is cube second squared y dy so this is second squared okay so we have two function one and two okay observe again tangent second tangent second but they only differ with their power okay so if we're going to use our property number three we determine the value value property number three correction factor we let r u equal to tangent y since it's common both terms so the first derivative of your tangent that is second squared y therefore your dy your correction factor is 1 over second squared y now we apply this correction factor to both terms so integral so tangent we replace our tangent with u but we still copy the power so the remaining second squared y and we replace our dy with our correction factor second squared y du and our second term integral of tan cube so we copy u in the power cube so second squared y and the correction factor 1 over second squared y du okay we cancel some common terms so second squared y second squared y second squared y second squared y so the remaining is the remaining function is integral of u5 du plus integral of u cube du now our function is ready for our power formula okay so we apply our power formula 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus quantity 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 of course for arbitrary constant Okay, so that is 1 over 6 u 6 
plus 1 over 4, u4 plus c. So we recall the value of our u. What is the value of our u? Tangent y. So we replace our u with our original value of u, which is tangent y. Okay, so rewriting. So if we're going to rewrite our function, and recall the value bar u, that is 1 over 6. What is the value bar u? Tangent. Copy the power, tangent raised to 6, y, plus 1 fourth, tangent, copy the power, raised to 4, y, and the summation of your, <coughs> excuse me, arbitrary constants, plus c. So this is your final answer for your example number 18. Okay, so moving on to our next example, example number 19. So example number 19, we are asked to evaluate the tangent cube 2x second sex 2x dx. Okay, so same procedure. Evaluate its power. So we choose second 6 to be manipulated. Okay. So second 6 raised to 6, 2x can be rewritten as second squared 2x quantity second squared 2x squared. So the sum of the power is still 6. So we rewrite our function. Tangent cube 2x, our second, our second 6, 2x dx, we replace it with our manipulated value of the power. So integral tangent cube 2x second squared 2x quantity second squared 2x squared dx okay so we use the identities we use the identity of our second squared 2x. Our second squared 2x is also equal to tangent squared 2x plus 1. Now we're going to use these identities. Okay, so we rewrite the function. So if you rewrite the function, that is equal to integral. So we rewrite this and replace second squared 2x with our identity tangent squared 2x plus 1. So that is integral tangent cube 2x second squared 2x then replace with our identity second squared 2x with tangent squared 2x plus 1. Of course, don't forget the squared. So dx. So our next step is to expand. We expand this quantity. So, so second squared 2x. So if you're going to expand that, so that is squared so second 4 2x we're going to expand this but its identity not the function second squared okay so we need to expand since it is squared so the value of identity here is tangent 
squared 2x plus 1 squared. Okay, so we expand this tangent. So that is tangent power 4 2x plus 2 tangent squared 2x 1 plus squared is still 1. So we replace it with this expanded factor of tangent squared 2x plus 1. Okay, if we rewrite tangent cube 2x second squared 2x tangent we replace it with our expanded one <coughs> tangent to the 4 2x plus 2 tangent squared 2x plus 1 so dx so we apply our property number 1 but before you can apply you need to expand and let the product of tangent and second join our quantity okay so if we let this one join to our quantity so tangent integral so tangent tangent copy add the power that is 7 to x our next is second squared 2x then plus 2 tangent tangent copy power that is tangent 5 2x plus 1 so that is tangent cube 2x second squared 2x quantity dx Okay, so we can apply our property number one. So we distribute the integrand. So we can determine how many terms. So one, two, three. So we have three terms. Okay, so integral of tangent 3 to 7, 2x, second squared 2x dx plus. Applying property number 2, we care at real number constant, okay? So we have 2 integral of tangent 5 to x. Of course, dx. Wait. So we are locking here of second squared. So this is supposed to be second squared 2x. So we still have here second squared 2x. Okay, plus our tangent to 1, that is only copy tangent cube 2x second squared 2x dx. So we have three terms. So we have one term, second term, and third term. But observe again, they have a common. They have common format, tangent and second, tangent and second, tangent and second. All of them, they only differ with their power. So we can determine our property number 3. Correction factor. We let our u equal to common to every term. That is tangent to x. So if we're going to get the first derivative of our tangent to x, that is 2 seconds squared 2x. Therefore, our dx is equal to 1 over 2 seconds squared 2x. Okay, so we apply our correction factor to our 3 function right away. But we replace our tangent with our tangent 2x with u. So integral of u, we still copy the power. So copy the remaining second squared 2x. We replace our dx with our correction factor. 1 over 2 second squared 2x plus our 2 integral tangent we replace with our u but we copy the power second 
squared 2x. We replace our dx with our correction factor, 1 over 2 second squared 2x du. Here also we have du. Then for our third function, integral of tangent, we replace it with u cube. Second squared 2x, our dx, we replace it with our correction factor. Correction factor. One over two second squared two x du. Okay, <clears throat> so we can sell some common term. So second squared two x, 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 second squared two x. So we have a remaining of real number constant of one half. But in our second term, one half this two will be can be cancelled. Okay. So, rewriting our remaining value as integral of u7, that is du, plus integral of u raised to 5, du, plus u. So, we have one half here. We have one half also here. So, we carry out that real number constant one half. Same with our third term. u what is the power cube du so our trade our function now is ready for our power formula so we apply our power formula so one half quantity u7 plus 1 7 plus 1 plus quantity u 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 plus one half quantity u raised to 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 plus your arbitrary constant. Okay, so that is 1 half. That is 1 over 8. U8 plus 1 over 6. U6 plus 1 half. And 1 fourth U4 plus C. Okay, we recall the value of our U. What is the value of our U? Tangent to X. Okay, rewriting. Our tangent 2x, okay, so our final answer is 1 half times 1 eight, that is 1 of 16. So we replaced our u with tangent, but we copy the power 8, 2x plus 1 six tangent copy the power 6 2x plus 1 half times 1 fourth that is 1 eight. Okay, you replace u with tangent so tangent what is the power 4 tangent raised to 4 2x in combining all the arbitrary constant c so that is your final answer for your example number 19. For question, you can comment down below, send your message to our group chat, or you can personally message me at our model account, in your model account. Okay? So, moving on. So, example number 20. So, for our example number 20, we are asked to evaluate integral of cotangent squared cosecant raised to 4 x dx so same procedure we need to manipulate the value of our the power of our trigonometric function to start with cosecant raised to 4 so we rewrite our cosecant cosecant raised to 4 x can be written as your cosecant squared x cosecant squared x so add the power so you 4 so the same lang siya so okay so we rewrite away our we rewrite our function cotang integral of cotangent squared x cosecant to the fourth x dx so we replace it with our integral cotangent squared x <coughs> cosecant squared x cosecant squared x dx 
Okay. So now, we use the identity of our cosecant x. So cosecant x squared x is equal to cotangent squared x plus 1. So we use this identity. So we replace 1 of the cosecant squared. Okay. So integral of cotangent squared x, cosecant squared x, replace the 1 with our identity cotangent squared x plus 1 dx. Again, so we expand our function. We let this product of cotangent and cosecant join our quantity cotangent squared x plus 1. So if we're going to rewrite that, as cotangent and cotangent, so we add the power of 4x and we copy cosecant squared x plus so copy again cotangent squared x cosecant squared x quantity dx okay so we break this term so we apply property number one so we distribute the dx and the integrand inside our quantity so integral of cotangent 4x cosecant squared x dx plus integral of cotangent squared cosecant squared x dx. So we have term, two term, but observe again, like what we did in example number 19 and 18. They have common cotangent, cotangent, and they have common cosecant, cosecant in each term, but they only differ with the power. So by applying our property number 3, determine the correction factor, we let RU equal to our cotangent x. Now, if we get the first derivative of your cotangent x, that is negative cosecant squared x. So finally, your dx is equal to 1 over negative cosecant squared x du. So we apply this correction factor to our two term. Integral, cotangent, we replace it with our u, but we copy the power. And copy the remaining cosecant squared x. And dx, we replace it with our correction factor. So 1 over negative cosecant squared x du plus integral cotangent we replace it with our u but we copy the power copy the remaining function and replace dx with your correction factor 1 minus cosecant squared x du okay so cancel common term cosecant squared cosecant squared cosecant squared cosecant squared so you have a remaining value of negative so you still have negative here both side okay rewrite the function integral of u for negative so that is negative now so negative times what is sieve that is negative negative times neg positive times negative that is negative that is integral of u square du Okay, apply your power formula here. Power formula. If you apply your power formula, that is quantity u 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1, minus quantity u 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, plus c. So that is minus 1 over 5 u raised to 5, minus 1 third u raised to cube plus c but you can recall the value of your u <coughs> u which is equal to cotangent x so we rewrite the final answer so negative one fifth u replace it with cotangent x but we copy the power is to 5x minus one third replace u with your cotangent but you still copy the power x 
and combining all the arbitrary constant, this is your final answer. Negative 1 over 5 cotangent raised to 5x minus 1 third cotangent cube x plus c. So this is your final answer. Okay. So moving on to your next example or your last example. So we are asked to evaluate our function. The integral of tangent raised to 5x second cube x dx. Okay. So we evaluate the power first. So we can manipulate. Okay, we start with tangent raised to 5. Tangent raised to 5x. If we're going to rewrite tangent raised to 5x, we can write this into tangent squared x squared. So that is already 4. So we still have 1. Tangent x. Okay, use this re manipulated function. <coughs> Excuse me. To our given function integral of tangent raised to 5x second cube x dx so we replace tangent raised to 5 with this okay so integral of quantity tangent squared x squared tangent x second cube x dx okay so now we replace our tangent squared x use its identity. What is its identity? Tangent squared x is also equal to what? Tangent squared x is also equal to second. That is also equal to your second squared x minus 1. Okay, so that's correct. So, the identities of your tangent squared x is equals also to second squared x minus 1. Okay, so use, we use this identity. We replace tangent squared x. Okay, so moving on, that's integral of quantity second squared x minus 1 squared since it's squared then copy the remaining function tangent x second cube x dx so now we what we expand since it is squared so we expand second second squared x minus 1 squared so if we're going to expand this one so that is second to the fourth x minus two second squared x one in plus second so that is still one okay so that is plus one okay so use this expanded function with sec with our identities that is second raised to 4x minus 2 second squared x plus 1 so it's not anymore squared since we already expanded then copy the remaining function tangent x second cube x dx so we now we let this product of tangent and second join our quantity so we let so let this product of tangent and second bolts in <laughs> bolts in eh? okay so we combine so that is integral of so we start with tangent tangent so no tangent here so copy tangent x so second cube with second four we add the power we copy the base, so that is second, 4 plus 3, that is 7. So copy the base, x. Okay, so we're done with here. Minus 2. So we copy tangent x, since there's no tangent here. 
but second squared and second cube that is second to the fifth power copy the base x so plus one <coughs> Plus 1, we only copy the tangent x, second cube, x. So R dx. Okay, so we apply our property number 1 here. We distribute dx and the integrand. Okay, doing so, that is integral of tangent x, second 7x, dx, minus. So we apply property number 2. So, carry out real number constant. So, tangent x, second, 3 to 5th, x plus integral of tangent x, second cube x, dx. So, we have three terms to evaluate. Again, observe tangent second, tangent second, tangent second. They have the same format, but they only differ with the power of each function so we can use common correction factor so by applying our property number three our correction factor we let our u what is our u so of course the common with the power so that is second x if you get the first derivative of your second x that is tangent x second x therefore your dx is equal to the reciprocal of first derivative of your u that is 1 over tangent x second x d u so we apply our correction factor right away to our existing three terms okay integral of tangent x so second we replace it with u but we copy the power 7 so dx we replace it with r Correction factor, tangent x, second x, minus 2, integral of tangent x, our second, we replace it with our u, we copy the power, we replace dx with our correction factor, tangent x, second x, same with the third term, integral of tangent x second we replace it with u copy the power apply the correction factor tangent x second x d u so now we cancel some common term so tangent x is common we cancel it out tangent x is common we cancel it out tangent x common we cancel it out u you know that the value of your u is second x so if we cancel second here, we less the power of our u, okay? So if we cancel second here, we less our power going to 6, we less with 1. Second cancel, we less our power here, so that is 4. So we cancel second, we less our power here, that is 2. So we rewrite. So do we have a real number constant? None. So it's still the same, 1. 1, 1, how about for the sign? None. So, okay, so we rewrite the function that is integral of u raised to 6 du minus to integral of u raised to 4 du plus integral of u squared du. Now you can use the power formula. Okay. So that is quantity u 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 minus 2 quantity u 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 plus quantity u squared plus 1 2 plus 1 plus your arbitrary constant. So we write that is 1 over 7 u 7 that is 2 minus 2 so 1 fifth u fifth plus one third u third plus c of course you need to recall the value of your u which is second x okay 
So recall the value so you can rewrite the final answer. So 1 over 7, you replace it with second, but you need to copy the power 7x, okay, minus 2 times 1 fifth, that is 2 fifth. So you replace it with second, second, but the power you need to copy 5x plus 1 third, you replace it with second, second, of course the power cube x sum of your arbitrary constant that is your c so your final answer is equal to 1 7 second 3 to 7 x minus 2 fifth second 3 to 5 x plus 1 third second cube x plus c so that is your final answer for your example number 21 <coughs> so i hope everyone can comprehend with our sample problem so by now you can solve a trigonometric function formulas in a form of tangent and second cosecant and cotangent okay so that would be all for today so for student who needs tutorial you can subscribe to our channel engineering e-learning channel for you to be posted and updated with our tutorial video weekly so that's all for today thank you everyone and god bless